Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 19th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past two days of imagery. As we've seen multiple M-class solar flares and C-class solar flares as posted in the daily short earlier today. Our sun got busy overnight with some pretty strong M-class solar flares since last night's update. Observing here the last two days of imagery incoming. Lots of plasma swirling around there. As noted yesterday, huge, monstrous, erecting solar tornadoes. Amazing images here. This is where we did see the M-class solar flares and as well plasma filament snap right there. Observing multi-spectrum, pointing out all of the events and the active regions. No major coronal mass ejections or plasma filament eruptions headed our way. But definitely going to be keeping an eye on that one there that is cresting in. Coronal hole regions turning away. One is earth facing. Another look here at our sun. Black cooled regions on our sun. That is the coronal hole. And that can increase our solar wind speeds. Right now, currently, we have six Earth-facing sunspots and some amazing imagery of our sun today. Plasma filaments swirling around. Plasma arcs snapping and popping. All brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Active sunspot regions as they are quickly forming and as well incoming, a pretty big one current space weather conditions we are under r2 level 2 moderate radio blackout impacts and as well a g1 level 1 geomagnetic storms and that was from the most recent halo cme which i had posted yesterday and that was from two days ago solar winds are coming in at 465 kilometers per second solar x-ray flux as you can see here reporting three strong m-class solar flares overnight one and throughout the day today Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP5 during the day today. Having a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center, this is the most recent and updated space weather spiral. Showing here that small impact. A little green circle on the right-hand side is our planet Earth. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, same thing here, but yellow this time. Showing a faint see me taking off, outgoing. And then a very large one detected from the incoming region. And that took off right towards Venus. Accelerated solar wind stream there. Looks like we're going to get a brush of it. Having a look at our magnetosphere, seeing how it's holding up against our solar winds. Currently 465 kilometers per second, showing the solar winds on the left and pressure on the right. And our current aurora forecast for tonight and to tomorrow. Slight chance tonight and an even slighter chance tomorrow. Sharing here from Soho, Lasco 2 images, Halo CME right there, 16th into the 19th. We're seeing some activity at both poles right now. Look at that firing up in the last few views. So that Halo CME took about 36 hours to impact our planet. And it's been doing that since last night. Having a look at our earthquakes the last 24 hours as we are really low, peculiarly low, eerily low. Only 150 earthquakes the past 24 hours. Just recently here, Palu, Indonesia, 5.1. And as well, the largest last 24 hours, 5.4, Volcano Islands region, 
North Mariana towards Nishinashima volcano. Japan with a pretty deep earthquake, 4.3. As well, Russia, deep. False Path, Alaska. A false Pass, Alaska, 4.3. And as well, activity right down into Oregon again, 3.8 reported today. Look at all this activity east of the Rockies. From Lincoln, Montana, southward to Texas. And Chakra, Colorado with a 2.9. Caribbean Plate, quieted down today. Most times we see more earthquakes through Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. Deep earthquake there, San Antonio de Cobros. As well as 5.0 reported here, West Chile Rise. 4.7, South Sandwich Islands. 132 kilometer depth, though. Don't normally see deep earthquakes like that there. Palacastro, Greece, 4.8. As well, a 4.9 here reported. Somalia Plate, Mid-Indian Ridge. 4.2 up there in Afghanistan. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. As I said, really low numbers right now. Been sitting at about 150 for the last 24 hours. Waiting for something big to come along here across the North Pacific Rim. Been forecasting it all week long, and it still looks like we could see a sizable earthquake or some kind of release from the Philippines plate eastwards to the Juan de Fuca. Kermadec Trench. Earthquakes keep piling up there as well. Much love, everybody, and thank you so much for paying attention wanting to be aware and prepared. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by the 66 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Big eruptions through Japan and as well Mexico, as noted yesterday. But big plumes coming straight across the North Pacific right now from multiple erupting volcanoes. South America, big plume blowing off of Buenos Aires. Looks like a pretty sizable eruption through that region. Maybe a volcano in Chile. South Africa. Europe. Overlooking Australia, Indonesia, Malaysia. No new major plumes, but still some intense SO2 coming out of central regions of Africa. Towards Rwanda. Now let's have a look at world weather as we've got multiple systems affecting us. Next tropical system here through the Atlantic is going to scoot across Honduras into the Pacific. Big system moving into BC will be affecting the prairies in the long range with some snow. Northern Ontario. And a strong system long range forecast heading towards Newfoundland. And a big low moving in for parts of northern BC and Alaska for the long range. Other than that, no major hurricanes developing. All of the tropical systems now are heading towards United Kingdom. In Ireland, watch for a very windy and wet event for the next couple days as you've got a monstrous low pressure system moving in. I can't remember if her name is Kate or Karen, but tropical, this next tropical system will be packing a punch. So heads up, Ireland and the United Kingdom. Multiple systems all week long, even a very big snowstorm for parts of Greenland and Iceland. Eventually that will be encroaching into Europe. Overlooking the Indian Ocean, Australia, Southeast Asia. Strong system in between New Zealand and Australia will be keeping things wet east of that and as well through New Zealand. And then strong system moving into eastern India and tropical system here developing by the 22nd into the 23rd affecting the Philippines and then moving northward most likely looks to be here that it could be a category 5 or 4 typhoon. By the time it makes landfall here, Taipei, Taiwan, and then scoots into the South China Sea. For the long-range forecast, stay tuned. This is early in the forecast. 
this could be a super typhoon for the record books. We're seeing multiple systems, multiple records being broken worldwide. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Thank you for watching. Having a look here at snowfall forecast as we've got snow falling as far south as Wyoming and parts of Colorado, Atlantic provinces and eastern Ontario. For the long range forecast here, this is looking at the next 10 days. Some very big snowy systems developing in the north right now. If you haven't seen what our polar vortex looks like, have a look at last night's video. I did post a look at the southern hemisphere versus the north as things are switching up into winter for 2025. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.